Who you been monitoring? Coco with Kimmy. I'm so glad we have ladies in the room today. <laughs> Cause it be them and they be ganging up on me and like they don't feel my pain sometimes. That's not true. She's and very you know, biased. Gonna... She's very biased. And I'm glad it's three of y'all. I don't believe that. <laughs> so today in Coco with Kimmy, I wanted to talk about something I saw on Instagram. I don't know if anybody saw it, but Curtis 50 Cent Jackson. I used to have a question with him, but he's too petty for me now, and I'm too grown he's for petty. Been petty, petty since the beginning. Yeah, but he was so <laughs> sexy, you know what I mean? So the sexy kind of like outweighed the petty because you could overlook some pettiness. But see, now the petty has caught up and surpassed the sexy. So I can't I can't love him anymore. I got mad respect for him. He's still sexy, but that petty. So anyway, he was like, re- recently Vivica Fox went and did another interview talking about 50 Cent, and I'm so tired of it. And, and then I had to like... <laughs> agree with him because he went on instagram and he was like yo after 14 years i'm just you could go back and find it on the internet it's everywhere go on his page and see what he said but basically what he said was after 14 years y'all still she's still talking about me if that was a guy y'all would have had your dad your brother the homies from the hood run down on this dude like he's stalking me and this is crazy and he's been trying to get some for 14 years and that's true she never now, got over him but Vivica Fox has been crazy. Like, this is the thing. She's been crazy. So 50 Cent was like, you know, I read the comments and, you know, I hear what y'all saying. Y'all be like, oh, the D must be all this. Oh, the D must be all that. But after 14 years. Shit, there's some females that still can't get over their goddamn baby daddy after 20, 25 years. Okay, stop. Because Ain't your no baby stop. daddy. Ain't no stop. That's, your that's, baby that's daddy. Facts. Your baby daddy is not because of the dick. Your baby daddy because you want a family and you want your nah, kid to have a dad. Nah, it, don't have no, it don't have nothing to do with nah, that. Nah, okay. Yeah, because to me, as far as I'm concerned. If went around in the bit of files, though, they was actually dating. I could see if it was just like a one night stand. They were they dating, was actually but dating. I mean, they don't have any kids or anything. They it were never married. I, I think that it was money. because he's. You, you, you could find. Dick anywhere. I don't understand why they don't understand this. It's 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 the egg the egg dick plant is, the egg plant got the best of them. It, dick is a dime a dozen. What she's addicted to Not is to his power. She's never had a more powerful man, and that's what happens when these women like you see these housewives on TV and they've been divorced since the 80s, but they still have the last name of the guy that they probably haven't seen since the 90s. It's because they still want to be affiliated with that man and his stuff. And all with that man, the power of the name. She probably has it because after him, she won. But it's who he is that she writes. Now, power dick might be something different. It don't have nothing to do with the size or the shape or whatever. That you know that comes into play in certain scenarios. But after 14 years, it's got to be because she hasn't found anybody else that was that powerful or that rich. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I listen. I can't. I'm, I can't think of nothing else. I'm Vip, telling you, you. About, it's, it's biblical Fox. Like, I mean, I can understand she can get it from anywhere else, but she got money. I mean, she has some sort of power. Maybe not as much power as Fifty Cent. But, but look at how. What, she, what else is it? What is? You know, when these celebrities go on interviews, the interviewer asks those certain questions. Yeah, that's true. And then I would look at like if somebody asked me about some dude I saw with fourteen years ago, I'd be like, yeah, next question. I don't want to talk about him. But that's because you boycott everything. It's not because I boycott everything. It's because that was fourteen years ago. Like I don't even who. What? How many guys no. you dated since you've been in Atlanta? I've been dating the same guy since years ago. <laughs> I mean, I mean. <laughs> like a credible yeah but if he yeah but he's he's disrespectful though like when you when you i don't mind that you know what i mean if it's just a regular guy and he's a, a cool dude but if you know he he be dissing her 
He really didn't diss her. Basically, at what all. he's saying is, after 14 years, stop talking about me. It's over with. Stop. Stop. That was this time. If it was on the other shoe, she I don't think I'm on his side this time. I'm on his side. I'm just. No, I'm saying he has. Like he said things about her that I would probably not interview okay, about in him the song, anymore. The song, or bring his name up in public. The only thing I remember him saying. But that was in retaliation Listen, to him. The only thing this I can hear. She was the one climbing up in his window and stuff. Was, I mean, clearly remember in the she, song um, you know "Get in My mean? Car" on his second album, he was like, "When I was with Vivica, I thought I was on the song, uh, but not by next week. Nah, man, it was nothing. That's the worst thing I heard him say. But like, that wasn't even disrespectful. Even on Twitter. Yeah, so I mean, when it's when you when you dealing with somebody like that, like don't bring, like let that be, like don't even bring him up anymore. Leave that dude alone. He's not a friendly or a, a respectful type of dude. Where you know, oh yeah, I dated him a long time ago. He's cool. We still go out. Exactly. I agree. And that's what he wants her to do. That's what I'm saying. But they still cool. That's the thing, though. They still cool, though. That's the thing. They cause just they got really, back cool. They was because she was on his show. What in September? She was on the show, the music video. Right, they have. Oh, so you think that it's just all like publicity? I'm gonna say a marketing thing, but I feel like this is the type of relationship they got. Even when they were together, they probably was doing the same thing. That's why she was. That's why he was. She was. And um, another update from a past Coco with Kimmy, Jill Scott's husband, the judge told him he's not getting shit. Good for his ass. That's good for his ass. You ain't work for shit. I ain't agree with that shit at all. At all. That judge. <laughs> But that's because he was her man. He worked he for her. her. Manager, that was yeah. his income. That was his job. But that's separate. I know. I that's think so. Separate. That's why you never do that. It never works. The it never I works. I don't know because Russell, not, is it Russell Simmons and um Kamora Lee? I mean, they still have a good. They're uh, not. In, they're not married anymore. Yeah, but they have. They still have a good business relationship. But yeah, they're not. They're not married. Like it probably does work when you're but not I married. Mean, but what wasn't they married at some point? But they got a divorce and it wasn't always I, rosy during I mean, that divorce. Wasn't. They didn't have a nasty divorce either. See, right. Yeah. But Russell Simmons is a trick though. So he's always just gonna give, 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 give. Take everything. I'll he get, it, get back. it back. You know what? Right. He'll get it back. He's real pretty. Yeah. He damn sure gonna get it back. <laughs> yeah. Right. Because he was her. Right. I think so too. He need grown man support. But that's Something that's that's about exactly. to happen with uh Rich the Kid. Rich the Kid finna have to pay that uh that child support, that spousal support. Beating his wife and cheating on her. Mm, mm, mm. Yep. Isn't that a sad? Why is he doing that to those? Why are those girls doing that? You gotta that? understand though. I, I think Why? I think in his I think in his case, and I'm just being honest. Me me being a dude, because I see a lot of dudes like that when they're not used to messing with certain type of women. Uh, when they're not used to getting on on the regular at all, like they just like YOLO, like you know, let me just go ahead and just you that's know handle horrible. that. I just think that's really what the case is. Those girls, like, man, just not used oh, to it. it just breaks my heart. Cardi B is pregnant too, right? Allegedly. Yeah, but in the height of her career, I just should be all right. Uh, Nikki supposed to be pregnant too. I didn't never hear that. I never heard that. I don't know. Uh, by Nas. Where'd you Apparently, get that from? Don't that's all, that's, blasphemy. Bro, that's all over blasphemy. The, that's all over the internet. Look on the internet. Blasphemy. Let me look that up right now. Blasphemy. How do you spell her name? Uh-uh. Hold on. This is a... 
Any anytime it's something about somebody old school hip hop, she ain't with it. No, it's not. She that, ain't with not it. Her. They broke up months ago. It don't matter. That don't mean she ain't pregnant. I don't see anything about her being pregnant on here. Oh, so you don't think it's because her brother was like molesting children and went to prison? She has no man right now. Safari is blowing up. She's she's got no songs. Safari was. It's, it's none of those things. It's because she's pregnant by Nas. That's what y'all are saying. That's what you're saying. It's been going on now. It's rumors. It's not to say that she actually is, but it is yeah, that she is pregnant. Oh, I don't know. Nah, yeah, everybody, when it's a woman and she don't be out. In but the I mean, street. she did also put on Instagram. She said, do y'all want the album or do y'all want the baby? She did say that too. Now that she, oh, because she's addressing all the rumors at the same time. So, But I still don't think she's, I don't think she's pregnant. I think she's just. I don't thought Lil' Kim went pregnant. Then here go this baby. You know what I'm saying? She fo- I think she just fell back because she's just not, you know, Cardi is hot right now. And it's hard to compete like. Nah, fuck all that. Oh, and, and the crazy part about it. Cardi, this was Cardi's perfect time to take over. Nikki sat back. Nikki ain't been online since the beginning of the year. She ain't been online all year. Oh, and on like Instagram and, and she Twitter? Been on social media all oh, okay. Year, and ain't no female rapper took her spot. And that's crazy. Like everybody talking out that Cardi, like she did see that. She had that lane wide open. And she didn't do nothing with it. Green Wild, they didn't do nothing with it. Now when Nikki come back, she like to do right But what do you mean as far as what though? Because Remy Ma's been all over the place. Yeah. We ain't. I mean, she did sign. She but did see, sign a two million deal, though, dog. But, but do, do y'all feel like Remy Ma is the, the, the running the female? I don't team? think so, but I think she what it. Can. She, can. she can. She can. She can. I think it's the, bro. I think I'm gonna tell you what it is, bro. Right. Right. If Remy didn't go to jail when she went. No, Remy, Remy, first off, Remy's not, she's not commercial enough. So that's where Remy's downfall is. She's never, she's... But she, off, is she getting that way? So this is... She's trying to grow, she's trying to grow into it. But my, this my is, thing is, that's my thing what, is... But, but, but that's... She ain't never had that commercial look, though. She always had that look. What you gotta think, the top rapper, you know, male or female, is always the most commercial. But see, but Dove and Hip Hop has created that lane for the people to become more commercial because that's what Remy did. Like that's what brought her. That's what she. That's what Cardi did. Exactly. I, I it, personally it, it, think if she would have never went to prison and went all this hype with her getting out of prison and then by her getting out of prison and going on Love and Hip Hop, I don't think it would be such a big deal. I mean, be, because yeah. realistically, she won that award based off one song. She killed Nicki Minaj on the song, but she won it off one song. It wasn't an EP or nothing. Ruby A came out with since she been out. She ain't had one song that was just hers that's been hot. Yes, she did the one with Fat Joe. That's Fat Joe. Wait, without Fat Joe, I'm talking about a solo song. Nah, but she ne- but she never really has had that besides Conceited. But, she always been featured. But on this song. is this is the thing. Those are her commercial songs. But don't get it twisted. Remy can spit, and Remy has like really dope songs. But she right. But she. But this is the thing too. Like you said, the commercialism, the appeal, and what made Nicki is because she had. She was mass. She was produced by Birdman and them. Like they put her together like a doll. They put her together and they made her be commercially appealing. They they're not gonna see you. Just you. They only gonna hear you. They only can hear you on the mic. They're not gonna be able to see you. Um. They um the they Nicki Nicki Minaj was prefabricated. Her whole image was created by them. They they found a girl. They put an ass on her. They put titties on her. They gave her a money. Blah blah blah. She could rap, but after she got all that stuff done, she stopped really rapping. Her too. Cardi. But do, but so Jay Black, you do not co-sign Car- uh, Cardi B. They hyped off Cardi B off one year off of Guinness. Cardi B had no originality. Like her songs her Card- there are seven hundred and fifty thousand Cardi B's on the East Coast. That uh that Bodak, I think it's Bodak Yellow. Where did she get that song from? Kodak Black. She had no originality. I was right. You feel me? It's just like that people they I mean, as far as a person, her personality, okay, yeah, I'm not She's fun. I think she, I would be cool with but her. I mean, yeah. I mean, but, after, but, but at the same time, but at the same time, I mean, she breaking records. For, for, for what? 
I mean, but think about how many times. Think about how long Remy was not Remy. Think about how long Nikki was running the game. Nikki was not breaking the record. Okay, first bro. of all, they, they should. Because of her they, they, right. they, they, like her. they like her. They like her. They like her. Right. Like, I'm gonna support her because I like her. They but that's what her. love and hip hop is doing for people. It's giving you an audience. You have a pre-made audience from the show. So I'm team whoever is on this show. So whatever they do, I'm behind it. Yeah. And so the people that. Or on that show that get these fans, they sell them whatever. Now I'm about whatever you selling because I'm a fan of yours. So that's that's what she came with. She came with a pre-packaged audience. All those people from Love and Hip Hop and their children just transferred over to her music and whatever she got, they gonna buy it. That's how it is. It's, she has nothing to do with her talent. Has nothing to do. With, so there are seven hundred. There are seven hundred and fifty million the, Cardi B's in the Bronx. If you go to the Bronx, it. all of them are like this that. This is what I'm saying though. I don't like her either. I can't. She, she is. I heard that Kay Michelle been singing before. Uh, yeah, but you can say the same thing about Rashida. Rashida been out years before who, she was who, even on there. Who likes any of these people? But what are they? But what? But what they're doing is, like I said, they're creating a, a audience from their situation. All that putting my husband out there and his affair with other women and babies and all that, like just for I'm like. So if you was getting paid ten thousand an episode to be on Love and Hip Hop for what you're doing now, you wouldn't do it. For what? For doing what I'm doing now? Yeah. So you think that those people before this were living like that, doing all that? A time? lot of them wasn't. That's not what I'm saying. Some they, that's why they put certain people on there, like Jim Jones and people to to help get a ratings. But it's the other people that's really going to catch the people. They have to. Be well, that they, yeah, that's I, that's, that's whack what, what they did. You. Like they had like what? What I do? Would you would you do it? To do to do what I'm doing what now? What you doing now? And then let's just say for instance, say okay, Kim, go ahead and bring out a song because a lot of them people are really not artists. They just doing it. Yeah, for nah, the show, I'm, I don't know. I don't sing Like I ain't no singer But you know You mean like Mama D And all them fake songs They be making I mean those are for people That's, that's kind of I mean I'm yeah. just yeah. yeah Yeah like Mama Jones And all that Like I mean I guess Alright 